about a month ago I made a video called the Google Earth Measure Tool for Relaxing Therapeutic Calm. So I thought I'd update that uh, because I hinted at uh, using something like a game. Now school is out, it's summertime, so this one's called the Mike Downs page, Google Earth and Measure, which are the hashtags, and then Google Earth Measure Geometry Game Pentagon. So shall we find out what that is all about? Because it can be quite fun. And when I say fun with hopefully a capital F, whatever that means, how do you spell Pentagon? Pen, ta, gone. Which, um, of course, is the Pentagon building. And the reason I'm using Pentagon is you'll see because love, love the idea of this. Um, and I'll tell you why, is because if we look at the Pentagon, which obviously is a pretty um, famous defense security corporation thing in America, what we can do straight away is go to 2D. And then we can get rid of the Pentagon is the headquarters of the United States Department of Defense. Because in this example, all we're going to do is play a game. And the game we're going to play is a game which is let me just try something here I think it's control yeah right so what I'm doing is I'm pressing control left arrow and all I want to do at this stage is get the pentagon hold on that's wrong you see where I'm going with this oh I want a flat top haha <laughs> can I have a flat top please what's that haircut so so what you do is you get it like that now first thing number one is can you see any geometric shapes and the answer, of course, is yes, there's a pentagon. But if you keep looking, did you know there's a little pentagon inside the big pentagon? And if you can see where my mouse is, there's a pentagon here. And there's even smaller ones. So you've got one, two pentagons. Then you've got, quite honestly, three in the inside. Then you've got four, which is the really big one, on the outside. Now, I'm wondering if we can play a measurement game with this. Now I'm gonna, not going to complete the game, I'm going to start it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click measure distance and I'm going to click, let's see if we can do it. Let's start about there and I'm going to go up and all I want to try and do is get to a level where I can make a shape. Now you'll see that that shape is not right there. Doesn't matter at this stage. And then I'm going to bring it back. Now what I should have done, quite honestly, is I should have made that a point, shouldn't I? So to, do you know what? Let's clear it. Let's clear it. I want you to play the game, not me. So in other words, it's going to start at the top. One. Ready? Here we go. Go from the top. Down. I hope you're over my sh shoulder. You're saying... Look, Mike Downs, I can do it better than you. And that's what I want you to do. Because if you're sitting there thinking, oh, there we go, there it is, bang. So what you've now got is a good example of the Pentagon game, which makes a star. Is that a US Marshall star? Who knows? So what I'm going to do here is try and line it up. But in actual fact, I don't want to do any more than this because this is nearly a four minute video to give you an idea of how we can play a pentagon game. What I am going to do is go back to 3D and then just see because I wondered if, quite honestly, there was anything where those points of the pentagon lined up in real life in Washington DC and saying that we've got the pentagon lagoon yacht basin is probably not a point. I thought there might be memorials actually sitting on there. So have a go yourselves.